Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Now today, let's get on with some things. There's a few things I want to build actually. Uh, as you can see in my in my hand here, I have got some of these, <laughs> something I can't pronounce very well anyway. But what we can do with these, let's look at the uses of these. Jelly Sierra, I think it's pronounced, but I've probably got it completely wrong. So look at the uses of these. We can make spider eyes, we can make the serpent stuff from rather quick. Um, all that nasty stuff in the cry. Okay, we can throw it to you and drain them on spike. Okay, so that's but the one I want to do. It's this one. I've already got these spider charm fragments. No problem with that. But this one's actually a bit of a dish. It's a problem. So we've got a potion of poison. Poison. So all we need is a mushroom, and that'll give us uh, a small awkward potion. Awkward potion. Simply nether wart and water. Uh, so it isn't too difficult to do. Spot. It is. <laughs> We've got that chest. I need to open up that loot chest. I think I put one down here. I've got some bottles here, and you can't put them in. They will not go in. <laughs> so I guess I've got to find a different way of doing that. So let's break this. Pick it up. If my where's my thing? Was it not working? Oh, it's turned off. That sort of explains a bit. You can tell it's turned off because it's not glowing. It's got to glow to be on. Let's have a look at this loot chest. Oh, I've got a few more quests to claim. Ah, oh, okay. Slime swing and slime boots. Very good. Mm, well, they were. We've got some slime boots. Maybe I could keep the slime thing, but we've probably got a jetpack just as good, isn't it? So, first thing is, let's have a look at the uses of the brewing stand. Since I can't brew, there is a brewing here. A potion generator. Botanical brewery, that might be useful. And I think the one I want to do is possibly Alchemical Imbuda. I'm not sure about that one. But the potion brewer, I bet we can do this one. So we've got everything we need. I've already prepared a few bits and pieces. A potion brewer. Let's go and see if we can actually brew any potions with this thing. I guess it's going to need power. So let's go and put it down. I haven't, brought, I haven't got the toadstool with me, but. Uh, I don't think that matters too much. We can put it down beside this so it should get some power. Oh, interesting. So, potion brew. Yes, it's getting power. That's fine. Good. So, what do we need to do with this? Do we Can we put some water in there? Oh, that goes in there. So, I can shift click that in there. So, now I need some um, nether wart. We've got plenty of nether wart. Let's go and get some of that. And we'll... We'll also get at the same time some spider eye, was it? So another wart. I think I have spider eye we've got. Another wart might be in a chest actually, let's have a look. Probably in this one. And I'm having difficulty seeing as usual. There's too many items there. Doesn't look like it's in there, does it? Let's have a look at no, it'll be down here if it's going to be anywhere. Ah, oh, yes, sir, it is good. I've never used this before, I will be honest with you. Has it got, has it got filling with water? So if to fill it with water, okay. Oh, water bottles, no effects. What happens if I shift click this into here? Don't no idea. Filling with water, water bottles. Can I put those into here like that? I would expect to put them in there. Maybe tell you what. Let's go. I've got some empty bottles on me, haven't I? I think they're in here. I've got two. Yeah, they go in there. And I think that we probably would want to shift click one of these into here like this. Let's just take one. Oh, I've got so many, I don't know. Okay. I think that's how it works. So let's just get some water. We've got some buckets here, that's no big deal. And there's some water over here. Um, it should be. Where's it gone to? Oh, it's behind this, isn't it? Hidden. Huh. Let's take two buckets of water, probably be enough. 
I was still thinking about stuff on that one. I'm going to have to change that at some stage. I'll do that between episodes. Because <laughs> it's not the first time I've bashed my head on that. That's it. So, why don't I shift click this one? No, I probably have to right click it, do I? Let's just try right clicking this with a bucket of water. Yes, that works. Now, what's going to happen in here? So, it's got some water in the tank now. Filling with water. Always active. Lock inventory. So we could do that, couldn't we? Um, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to go look at the book. Because I don't see what else we've got to do in this. So we've got to click something. Well, that's confusing, isn't it? All right, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have a look at this. Maybe between episodes, we could have a quick look in the book, but the book's pretty useless. It doesn't tell us very much anyway. But there is something else I'd like to make, and that is a thermal expansion machine to do enchanting, and it's called something really difficult. Oh, have I got it here? Potion Brewer. It's called this one here we are the arcane and so <laughs> source accelerator I don't know this thing so that's just basically two blocks of lapis one enchantment table machine frame and some bread so let's have I got I think I might have everything prepared for that I do good now this thing is pretty good this is the one that allows you to enchant stuff and choose your enchants now there is one from industry foregoing that basically is a randomized enchanting type thing so let's put this one down here should should be in range so it should get power indeed it is so here we've got our recipes and i'd like to do a fortune recipe so what's that one fortune okay so a book and an emerald to give us fortune so i want two books and two emeralds because i only want two one fortunes and i want that for the uh, ore crusher Strangely enough, it's that it's really not that uh, difficult. So have I got emeralds in here? Or have I got to come? And yes, I've got some. We need two of those, and we need two books. And I've decided the recipe I'm doing. Oh, this one yes, I forgot about this one. We've got a golden apple. We've got a gluttony charm. Let's take that. I'm not sure what it does. It's dark utilities, and I guess it basically means we eat less. So let's put that. that's actually not a bad thing to be honest with. You. Let's just uh, put that in that bubble slot. I probably if I press F5, I probably see I've got it on somewhere. I've got, oh, we've got little wings on the back. Did you see those? <laughs> That's because I got that. I did that chicken wing ring last time. No, I don't see it. Okay. So now, having distracted myself about that, how do I do this? Books. I've got books on here. Look. Already made. The ones I'm, I'm, if I look at the recipe of those now, the ones I'm doing are these because basically you, it's three pieces of paper. This bit's the only bit that's a bit expensive, but doing tan leather is just a pain. It's more difficult because you've got to get the right stuff, and you get you're either going to get dung from the pigs or you're going to get um, bark. Now bark basically means you end up with lots and lots of things. So let's come into here. So what's that say? Arcane scroll locked. So I guess is where the books go into. Let's shift click that into there. And then shift click two emeralds into here like that. What else does it want? Will have to be in no, it must be in here. Oh yes, it needs essence. I forgot about that. Well we have plenty of essence. In fact, it's here, isn't it? Yes it is. It's this stuff. So we have to feed this into here. So I'm going to just break this drum and put the drum down here, just behind it. We only have one cable to use then, so let's do all one pipe. Conduit in our case, so we're going to take a, just an ordinary, it's not hot, this stuff, we can just use an ordinary conduit, put it down, and then we just need a servo. And I'm just using resonant servers at the, resonant servers at the moment because I don't need to use anything else. <laughs> it's just as cheap as the others. 
So that should now be getting a little bit of luck. It's not getting it. Why is it not getting it? Oh, because, of course, very easy, very simple. Let's just shift click those off and put the back side. It wants to be an input, I think. Well, still doesn't seem to be working. Let's just double check that. It is the back side, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's the wrong colour. That's it must be a different one. Ha! Huh. So I'm not sure how I get that into there in that case so easily. You could choose different items in there, or you can do the output, input output, but not for the fluid itself. Okay. Do you know I've done this and I don't know how I did it before? Let's just take a bucket of this essence and right click it on here like that. Should be able to right click it on here? No, I can't. This is strange. What have I got to do to get the essence into here? Information. Enchant book useful for acquiring specific tome for enchantment. Less slot can only be used for Yeah. The slot can be locked to only contain specific items. Behold Magitech. Oh, it's not very helpful, is it? It's got power. So you basically you lock the, you lock the book with the books up so they can't be replaced with anything else for automation. Huh. There must be a way of getting this into here, unless it's the wrong type of essence. Ah, that could be the case. Actually, um, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that's the case. Oops. I put it into there. Let me have a look at this because I've forgotten. I did this, but I completely forgotten how to do it. So let's have a look at the. I'm not doing very well with these these machines today, am I? No, oh, there it was. I can't remember the name of it either. It's a horrible name, and I don't like this. I don't like these machines with strange names. And so. Ensor Accelerator. Oh. So let's have a look again. That should be enough. And the uses of this one, you see, we need this type of essence here, a thermal foundation essence. So I have to transfer it. So that actually did work. So let's have a look. We can take solidified ever put it into the magnet crucible, but we're not going to do that. We could take essence and put it into here, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's a bucket upside down, a knowledge bucket. Oh, yes, that's how we do it. We need a tomb of knowledge. I remember now. The penny has dropped. Funny little lag spikes you get as you move across the tomb of knowledge is actually really useful. So let's how do we do it now? Tomb of Knowledge. I can't see it there. Strange. Let's spell it wrong. Is that the Tomb of Knowledge? A Knowledge Book. Here we go. A Tomb of Knowledge. Not too difficult. So we need one book, two emeralds and two lapis lazuli. That's not a big deal. Get a book out of here. It must be at the top because I saw them before. Yeah. And then we can simply do that recipe. Now we need to fill this with essence. I think one way to fill it with essence is simply right click on that like that. You might be able to right click on the drum actually, I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't seem to work. What I could also do of course is to replace this slower. Let's do that one. slower one with a faster one. Let's take it off. Let's get the resident one out. Put the resident one and just simply activate it. 
So that'll fill up faster, I think. I, I probably can change the pipe as well, or the conduit, probably go faster with that one. So now we've probably got enough. I think, yes, we simply right click that and that will fill it up. See, we've got plenty of essence in here now. 10,000 millibuckets of essence. So this holds quite a lot. How much does it say? It says it holds four, it's got 4,000 of 10,000. I don't think that's quite right somehow. I think it's more. But I'm not sure what the, the different, I don't think there's a bucket, so I think it's something else. And that converts to the right type of essence. So here we got one book of fortune, and it's it's a bit slow. Probably wants a speed upgrade on that. I reckon. If we're going to use it often, probably not going to use it often as it happens. But what I want to do with this is I want to put it into this machine here, don't I? So this is a sixty percent chance. Put that in, eighty percent chance. So we need another one. And that'll give us a hundred percent chance so we're guaranteed an extra ore so we get our ore tripling and they only need to be tier one books so that should do let's go and see if that is the case let's go and get one iron ore. oh i did this but i redid this by the way as you may notice oh that is that full that is going to be bad if that's full. It is indeed full. Okay, so one iron ore. I don't have any voids on there, and I don't have to upgrade them either. I will put into. I think I'll put emerald upgrades in each one of those and the void for the second one. So now, if we put one of these into here like this, we should get three ores out, guaranteed. Let's have a look. Three. So there we have our ore tripling at last. Good, that took a while, didn't it? Now, next thing. I would like to... I think there's one or two more things I'd like to to make. Let's have a look. Do you know what I was thinking of doing with this here? Because I've upgraded it with some more th reinforcements on here. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the control. I've got two minilium sword blades. I think I was going to replace the copper tough rod with a pig iron tough tool rod because when it's in your hand you're, it basically gives you food so at the moment I've got food from the um, hammer here we don't need the experience anymore so that's, so we don't really need the copper if you see what I mean um, and the other thing we could do we could actually emboss this with a but it's a bit expensive for the katana the katana's I think it's eight ingots to do it. So I was going to emboss it with some um, Supremium essence like this one. I'm basically put change the handle on this one to be Supremium from that. So it's got all the it's got all the bits and pieces to touch. I'm not sure what elemental does, but the other ones are quite good. So I was thinking about this one of doing something like reinforce it because it was going down too fast because the mobs are getting a bit. Nah. They just have too many hearts now, <laughs> let's be honest about it. Far too many hearts, don't like it at all. Right, oh, there is something else. One more thing I want to make, completes another quest. Let's have a look at the uses of the slot upgrade for this one, the basin upgrade. We can complete the basin upgrade, and that will give us a quest, the basin upgrade. So let's go and have a look at this. Basically, this just goes into here now. So I think we just put that, shift click it, yeah. So now we can choose between that or that, I think. How do we choose? <laughs> Good question, I'm not, shift, switch to basin mode. Okay, so switch it to basin mode. How do you switch it to this one? Should take it out, it can't be. I'm not sure what the slot upgrade does either. So I reckon that we can actually do basins as well, uh, buckets as well. I have to try that actually. So we'll see what we we'll see. We'll try and do that sometime, I guess, in the future. So this is actually quite a good way of keeping your XP anyway. So you can actually change this. So you can, I think you can shift right click it. Oh, what did that do? 
Well, that's giving me that's giving me XP. So that's a good way of storing XP. I hadn't realised that. And that oh, that's really good. That's I'm happy about that. <laughs> Right, because that basically means when we're around the, the overworld and we want to teleport back again, we haven't got enough XP, we simply just shift right click this one. The book with the book in the hand, that's not exactly difficult, is it? So let's do another tank's worth. Get it filled up. So, right, next thing. I've got a machine frame here. What was I going to make with this machine frame? A builder! That's what I was going to make with this machine frame. That's another quest. Pearl injector screen control and production. So we need the locator power really. These are all the RF things that we haven't done very much of yet. Crafter tier one. I should like actually I quite like the crafters. We haven't done any teleportation because we've got other mechanisms in this mod pack. Where is the builder? Ah, there we go, the builder. I should be able to shift click that into place. So we've got a builder. And that should give, complete another quest. Well, we're doing well in the quest today, aren't we? What I want to do with this is I want to make a, an upgrade. So let's have a look at the um, RF tool stuff in here. And I, th I think it's on the second page. So we need to, I would like to do a silk touch. That's a fortune quarry. And the silk touch one is a silk quarry, this one here. So we need another star diamonds and another shell. That's not a big deal, that's fairly straightforward. This one we need dirt around a, a shaped card. A shaped card is a glass around a, what's that one? A shaped card quarry must be this one here must have missed it so we need a diamond pickaxe a diamond let's look at this one done we probably just need four stick oh those are special sticks those are these aren't they no these are these ones here treated wood sticks i think we just need four don't we two for the pick and two for the shovel so but i thought we also need one of these as well well i'm missing one piece of paper I'm not I'm not making any jokes about paper, I can't think of any to be honest with you. But glass is different. So let's have a look. Now we've got a four, so I'm pretty sure we need this card to start with. So we need to make this one, yes, we do. Diamond shovel and again diamond pick. Diamonds are certainly not in short supply. So we can make the shape card quarrying, so we'll do that one. And the uses of that is we need a dirt or a glass around this one, don't we? Have we got any glass in there that in here? Probably not. Let's go make sure we've got some glass in here. Also we haven't got any in there. But I have got glass in the storage over here, so let's just get out eight pieces of glass. that's eight so look they've still got loads of these coming in now it's only got 37 of those but i think i might actually take those and do another charm if we can that is but oh, i've got nine pieces i thought i might have done i've got two for the first one i guess huh? so now we've got that one and now we need eight pieces of dirt oh that was convenient didn't expect that. So now let's go for the uses of this one. And then we want the silk touch one. So the use of this one, you get two choices. So you get either the silk quarry or the fortune quarry. Well, I prefer to go for this one. And I'm missing another star. Well, that's not the case. I thought we got plenty of nether stars. Uh, if I remember where I've put them, that is. Here. Right again, uses. And the next thing, of course, we having having created all this, we need something. Oh, 
what did I just do? Fortune courier. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'll keep that and I'll do a silk touch one uh, off camera. <laughs> that was clever, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the uses of this one. I think of this one here we can do something special. We can make some creeper charm fragments and some gas charm fragments. And we need, from these we need six. Now I probably haven't got any bones, so let's go and get six bones. It'll be the standard recipe. So we need 36 of these. I think that's six. Yep, good. So let's go for the uses of that one. The second page, gunpowder. And that gives us six creeper charm fragments. So with that, I just need to put away some of the stuff I've got on me here because I don't need everything I've got on me. Like that. And I don't know whether the creeper charm fragments do also the spore creepers and the other type of creepers, but where anyway, any one's better than nothing. So let's have a look at this one. The uses of these we need that, so we just need a piece of string. Now we should be able to do it. So we've got a creeper start. Creeper chart fragments, so creepers can't see us. So let's get the other stuff out of here. I've got a feeling I've lost my magma, magma one. Um, I wonder what it looks like. The trouble is you don't, it doesn't tell you what they are until you actually take them out. zombie pigmen which I find frustrating I'd like to be able to see what they are so what would be a magma what does a magma one look like let's have a look at it jam fragment um, none of that type because those are all off tool stuff isn't it here we go Zombie skeleton with a skeleton creeper child father witch child cave spider spider enderman charm gas charm we haven't done that yet slime charm magma cube so it's basically one of these with eyes in it okay that shouldn't be too difficult actually and I think I haven't got it so let's just double check if I've got it or not so all the yellow eyes in it. What's this one? Could be that one. That's a blaze. Okay, I think I've lost it when I because I was grinding them basically. Um, yes, right. We have to make another one of those. So I think if it's the usual recipe, we need six of each. We have no shortage of these here, and we don't have too much of a shortage of blaze powders we've got 38,000 blaze rods which we can always turn into blaze powders and slime balls we don't really have a shortage of slime balls either look at this that was a stack out of there and I can use the other type anyway so that's no big deal so we need for this one magma cube I think I have to do it this one where's the slime charm by the way That we can't do yet because we haven't got any slime pearls. But this one we can do. So we need six, three, eighteen of these. Like that. Put that over there. In fact, I can put the pearls in here, can't I? Now, so they go back again. I could take those with me. We don't need so many. So I should be able to make another magna cube ch uh, fragment, shouldn't I? Six of those, one piece of string and one piece of leather. Oops. Try again. Always very good to have these charms. I must be I must be honest with you. I think they're great. 
not getting attacked by mobs even though the magmas aren't actually that difficult they've got a lot of health there we go because I was grind I was grinding these so that was that was basically the problem in the in the mob farm and the idea was I was going to basically get these I needed the drops didn't I for the things I should have taken it off to be honest with you right that'll do let's put everything back in here now What have we got in here? So I basically got, I think I've made everything I want to make in this episode. But what we haven't done, of course, is claim any of these quests. Let's go and put that in the smelter. I've got some molten manilium. I didn't matter about that one, let this go through. Can't remember what I was doing that for. Actually, I think I was doing that for another um, sharpening kit because I've got four ingots here to make a, a, um, a seed, but I'm not going to make a seed today. They're just so straightforward; we don't need to worry about them. So let's have a look. Um, that's all. If I look at magical crops, dragon. I've completed this one, haven't claimed it. Let's claim the loot chest for that one, done. And then the next one's the ultimate smelting where we have to make an ultimate furnace and an insanium coal. Now that's expensive. And I'm not sure I want to do it because this one's actually fast enough as it happens. I could make a crooks, another star crooks. That's not too difficult. Well, we'll do that. It's just following recipes, basically. So now that's that one done. Um, don't think there's anything in mag magical world. Oh, yeah, this one but it keeps coming up with nothing in it, isn't there? Oh, I think there's a new version as well. I haven't done this yet. Fluid cells. But we have completed builder at last. So we can claim our loot chest done. Let me just press escape because I've got a feeling. And oh, no, I'm alright for now. Let's open up these things. Two vials of magma skin fire resistance from Britannia. I think that's probably good but I'm not sure and this one oh second inferior to us. that's been a long time coming uh, to be honest with you I thought that might have even been disabled but having said that then that's a good place let's put it up here because I should have a where's my other one gone to there it is in a very bad place <laughs> I need it on me especially if we go anywhere near lava let's have a look and that quarry okay so that needs infusing machines infusing machines a machine infuser oh, maybe I can do that off camera I think I think that's probably important let's have a look um, F4 so that's that quest line done environmental we haven't started industrial I'm starting to do some of these some range out on so the fact I haven't shown you this yet let's go and have a look at that I have put it into the farm now in the previous but one episode I did get some comments which I didn't have time to read in that one oh things look full uh oh I'm blocked okay <laughs> yeah I'm full let's go and put that down and go and sort that out ASAP because we're just losing resources at the moment these we can put in here and I haven't shown you this either I got some comments and I misread them well I didn't really misread them I was a bit confused let's just shift these into here like that they got taken away very nicely um, so Bob the Big Bat, Maleka and Sir Harry all told me they, these were astral sorcery uh, fountains and I think I called them something altogether different so here we've set it up so that this is basically the furthest first. So the furthest is going to be here. So it's good to put the things into here first of all. So that chest is full. That chest is full. That chest is full. And this one is the think is in round robin mode. So we're getting it into both here. At the moment it's in round robin. So it's going to push the items into here and into here. So we should end up with some more supreme essence. And when this is full, well, it gets nearly full I'm going to send it as furthest first so these get replenished first of all so I've got a blockage and I have been 
busy between episodes tidying up my sorting system here but I've got a feeling there's something I've missed let's have a look at this oh it's just full of stuff there's one at the back here a iron axe smelting now why has iron axe not been picked up because I've got them in ah I haven't got any that's why <laughs> Right, okay, so I have to fix that. So what I'm going to do now is I turn this one off to turn it by turning it on. Take this one out of here. Um, I need to shift, double click this one, don't I? Get rid of the stuff I've got on because that was already full. Now, the tools is the second one down. So it's the, basically that's armor. So the third one would be tools like this. So what I've done is I've basically put all the tools into here. So we haven't got any axes in here at all. I've got the three types of sword. I've got the two types of hoe. There should be another type of sword. I think we sometimes get a diamond sword. And I'll put the iron axe here. I might have to clear it out at some stage. So what I do is I put that into there. And then I put the iron axe away in here. So maybe I put it in this column like that so we've got random things here and I'm going to go across for the four different types of items in here we don't have any stone pickaxes being uh, I don't think we do any so now we just take this one out of here like that so this one is the one I need to update isn't it let's have a look so this is the one I need to update let's just press escape and then move this one out of the way here like that let's get the blacklisted one and the whitelisted one so this is blacklisted this is whitelisted so therefore we have in here just these basically so this is the one I need to replace so I shift click that into there and it goes to the right place that's that one and the same for this one in here it's got the iron axe as you can see it's written down and just click, click that into there and that should then be updated for that so now we just put the, the whitelisted one into here, that's the whitelisted one. We put the blacklisted one in here like this, and it's already picked up an item which you shouldn't have done. That's the fishing rod. So we can put the fishing rod, well we can't at the moment, it's full. But I need to turn this on, so it'll get rid of the iron swords and stuff like that. Uh, so this should empty out fairly quickly now, let's just sort it. And I can put the fishing rod in there and that'll disappear off. And that should end up in here. Last item, fishing rod. I actually got another one, didn't it? So this is getting full. I'll have to sort that out after the episode. I just go through these things here, check what we've got in them. If there's anything worth keeping, I'll keep it. Otherwise, I'll throw it away. Simple as that. And I'm still checking those. They are useful. And you can see this is already emptied out now. So let's go back and have a look at the farm because there's one adjustment I need to make. The farm. As I put the test, oh yes, look at this stuff being picked up here. That should be able to go into there now, so we can put it in there without a problem. All four of those. Let's quickly jump around, see if there's anything else around that we need to picking up. No, I don't see anything else. Let's have a look at this now. Good. I've actually got a stack of water in here, so I should have some water seeds coming in here now. Because what I did is I put the range extension in here, in here, so we put in the tier 1, so that makes it a 5x5 five five farm, and then I did the same thing here. But of course this is in the wrong place now, because it's basically 3, so I need to move this back 1, so let's just do that now. It'll probably bit, make a bit of a mess, to be honest with you, especially with the stuff I've got on me at the moment. But can we put some stuff into here? Yes, we can. Let's just get rid of I need to set this up. Move to bag. Oh, I need to move that thing back as well. I didn't do that. Let's move everything back. I can't do that one, of course. Right, good. So now I've got plenty of space. So whatever this thing drops, and it'll drop all these seeds, I think, we can do that. So let's take that out of here. Let's get the pickaxe, which I did put away. And give this a whack. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
didn't, oh, of course it didn't get picked up because I also moved this out of the way. Which wasn't so, so, which isn't so clever, is it? Actually. So now, basically, it's going to go here. What have we got here? I think that's an item duct, if I'm not mistaken. It is, yes. So we need to put an item duct down here, and uh, probably some redstone or flux duct over here. So what I've done is I made this little passageway here. Boom. So we can put those two it items through here. So let's do that. So item duct. Have I not got any item duct? I don't believe it. I've got no item duct. Redstone flux duct. We've got some. Or oh, leadstone flux duct. We've got some of that. No problem. Okay, it would actually be better to do it from the other side, wouldn't it? Because I won't be able to get into here once I've done that. Um, okay, I've got to make some flux duct first of all. Uh, item duct first of all. Actually, I can do that, can I not? No, nope, I haven't got my indexer with me. So what I want to do next time is to start to produce some, maybe I'll do a bit of building between episodes because I've been saving that. Um, so let's have a look at item duct. That'll do fine. We don't need any more than that one. So I need to get into some extreme reactors. And between episodes, what I think I'm going to do is build a base on the overworld. It's got to be a bit more secure than the other one. Because at the moment it's not very secure. That's a nice bit of lag. So all we need to do, I think, is just put this down here. Like that. And then we can put the planter here. Plant sower. Now let's have a look at that. So everything is unlocked at the moment. So what we need to do is to take the seeds. And I think I have. Let's have a row of. Let's have a row of those seeds there, like that. Um, Inferium seeds. Let's have a row of those. <laughs> Picked one up already. Come out of the way. Come on, it. You. I want. And it wants to go in the middle. And then we want this one down here, like that, which is basically another seeds. And probably could. Actually, I can leave it in there. I want to, if I want to put anything in, I'll put in Inferium seeds like that, and then lock the inventory. So the only thing we have to do now is to give it some power, which is that easy. We just come back here, and I should be able to access this from here anyway. Like, let's just click it like that, and then that should be getting power, and it should be starting to plant seeds. So what I'm going to do now is to remove, well actually, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. I was going to remove this and put in here the growth crystal. Now the growth crystal's got, oops, didn't mean to do that. That is a nine by nine, so it's going to cover the area whatever we do. So that's not a big deal. Where has it gone to? I need the crescent hammer. I can't see my crescent hammer. Where's my crescent hammer gone to? Ah, oh, there we are. I need a piece of dirt. I wonder where I can find a piece of dirt. Have I got one with me? Oh yes, I have. Ah, do not want to do that? Shift right click this. I should have some dirt in here. If I'm not, I've just got this cross block. We'll use this cross block, then no big deal. Ah, oh, brilliant. No mind, you can't plant, you can't farm on that, but they can do this one easily enough. Right, good, I'll remove this one. <laughs> And we're back to back to as it was. So now we've got a bigger farm, and it should plant all the way up to here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it won't do, will it? Because I've forgotten to put the card into it. And here we are. So now we put the card into it. It should plant all the way up, like that. So we should be getting now a five by five area. But of course, yes. That makes more sense. 
I was just thinking I could have moved that across one backwards, couldn't I? But that'll do fine. So we're doing this whole area now with seeds. I'm not sure why this one's been planted. Ah, oh, probably because it'd be f earlier on. That's fine, guess. Probably when it was back there, so we planted one. There's probably one over this side as well in that case. Yeah, water seed, let's get rid of those two. They shouldn't be planted again there, they should actually just simply cross over in time. So we can put the rest of this in here like that. That's all I should need to do, I think. So we've got plenty of capacity for water in here for the time being. So we shall be getting more inferior essence now and probably some more and the nether soul sand, which doesn't really matter that much. It's always useful to have it. There's a lot of recipes which seem to require soul sand. So what was I saying next? Between episodes, I'm going to build a base, possibly. And I'm certainly going to do next time, I think it's time to do some extreme reactors. So until then, I think I'm going to say bye for now. Bye for now.